In this video, I'll show you four examples on how to evaluate expressions with given terms. Question number one reads, evaluate the following when a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to 3. The expression here is a to the power of 5 times b to the power of 2, all power to this 3. What we will do is replace the a and the b with the terms that are provided. So we have a to the power of 5, which becomes bracket 1 to the power of 5, and this b becomes negative 2 to the power of 2. I'm going to include these outer brackets as well to the power of 3. Now notice that when I substitute the numbers into their respective letters, I am enclosing these numbers by brackets. That is good practice and it's suggested that you do the same. So let's do this. 1 to the power of 5 is 1. Let's write that down. So this part right here simplifies to 1. And negative 2 to the power of 2 is equal to positive 4. Notice that I've shown that 1 and 4 are being multiplied by this dot. And that is being powered to 3. We are going to continue with bed mass, the order of operations, which tells us that we multiply what's inside the brackets first. 1 times 4 is 4 to the power of 3. That's like saying 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 64. Let's move on to B. This time I'll replace a, b, and c. a is 1, 1 to the power of negative 4. b is negative 2, so I'm going to replace that b with negative 2 to the power of 5. And c will be replaced with 3 to the power of 2. The same thing will be done to the denominator. 1 times negative 2 to the power of 3. And c is 3. And now we will evaluate the following expression. But before we do that, just keep in mind that you could have used the laws of exponents to simplify this. And if you had done that, this is what it would look like. You would have a to the power of negative 4 over a, which would give you a to the power of negative 5. b to the power of 5 over b to the power of 3 would give you b to the power of 2. And this, c to the power of 2 over c, would just give you c. So you could, by all means, do it this way first before plugging in those values. Let's continue on with this one. 1 to the power of negative 4. 1 to the power of anything is always equal to 1. So just keep that in mind. That's going to equal to 1. Negative 2 to the power of 5. Negative 2 to the power of 5 will be negative 32. And you can confirm that with your calculator. And 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Over at the bottom we have 1 times negative 2 to the power of 3, which is going to equal to negative 8 times 3. That's negative 24. And we're going to use our calculator for this, where we end up with negative 32 times 9 divided by negative 24, which gives us 12. Now, had you substituted these values into here, it is very likely that you would have also gotten 12. But let's double check. 1 to the power of negative 5 times negative 2 to the power of 2, and c is equal to 3. This like we suggested earlier, would become 1. This right here would become positive 4, and the 3 stays the way it is. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's move on to question number 2. In question number 2, they are asking us to evaluate the following when x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 5. We'll do the same thing as before. 2 to the power of 2, negative 3 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 3, and negative 3 to the power of negative 2. So let's simplify this. And by all means, you can use the laws of exponents to do this. Notice that the base of these two are the same. So that means we can add the exponents since everything is being multiplied. So let's do that. 2 to the power of 5 times 3, or should I say negative 3, to the power of 4 plus negative 2, which is 2. Simplifying this, 2 to the power of 5 is 32 times negative 3 to the power of 2 is positive 9. Using our calculators, we end up with 32 times 9, and that is equal to 288. Just to keep in mind that the laws of exponents could have been applied at this level as well. Finally, our last question in this tutorial, we have 5 times 2 to the power of 2, 2 times negative 3 to the power all of 3, and at the bottom, 10 times 2 times negative 3 to the power of 2, 
And I'm going to use my calculator to evaluate this all in one step. And I'll show you how to do it. So wherever you see a bracket, you're going to press this. That's an open bracket times 2, close, powered 2 times negative 3 to the power of 3. So that's the top part. And we're going to divide it by 10. And it's always nice to actually put your whole denominator in a big bracket. So 10 times 2 times negative 3 to the power of 2 gives us an answer of negative 120. So there you have it. Those are four examples on how to evaluate algebraic expressions when the term has been provided to you. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.